Well, we're standing in front of Alliance's latest and greatest fifth wheel in the, the Avenue, Avenue yes. line. And this is the only one like it on the planet. It is number one of one. It's a prototype out here at the Tampa RV mm -hmm. Show. And this one, Alliance designed with families in mind. Yes. So this is probably going to be... warrior. Yeah, it's probably going to be a really good floor plan if you have a family, a bunch of kids, you all go out together and camping, whether you're living in it or not. Yes. We're going to show you what we're talking about. This model has the outdoor kitchen, which is not really a kitchen. It's like a griddle that pulls out. And then you got your little bitty refrigerator out here, which only takes up a little bit of the space. You still have tons of space over here in your pass-through. So lots of storage here for all your family stuff. Lots of room back here. So if you're hosting the family, this is an awesome hosting space. If you have a company over all the time, lots of area right here. They built out this big U-shaped seating area in the kitchen so everybody can hang out while dinner's being cooked, you can watch TV or watch the game or whatever while you're hanging out. Lots of counter space through here, huge, huge island. It's got one of the biggest pantries in the industry. So if you got a big family and a bunch of stuff, that's where it's gonna go. And it's a rear kitchen, which is one of Leslie's favorite <laughs> floor plans, the rear kitchen. Everything else in here is pretty standard, but I do like that the seating is facing the TV. That's on our list, we saw that already. You feel so far away. I know. <laughs> this is a big table. <laughs> I feel like we're like the king and queen of the table. I know. Could you pass the salt, please? <laughs> Shh. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I do, do you... like it, though. Yeah, what do you think about the booth seating? It's different. But honestly, it works. Yeah. I could even see us with... Because it's it's not obnoxious booth. Yeah, it's In not... your way booth. Yeah. So it actually does work. This would be decent editing space if you wanted to sit here and work. Yeah. It could easily be done this way. Yeah. And you could sit that way if you still wanted to see the TV to do it. It's not bad. I like it. You know, at night, we were talking about this built for family, but you only got the two seats over there. You have this whole thing right here. So, and these are comfortable. Mm -hmm. These are comfortable to sit on. So these are, these are functional for more than just eating. I mean, you could actually sit there and be comfortable and watch TV, right? Leslie can fit anywhere though. <laughs> not anywhere. But if you had a couple kids, it's not a big deal. You could. Yeah. And it does come with the option. You can do the you can do the dinette if you want. You're not locked into the booth. It is an option. There's a bunch of different options on, on this thing that you can you can custom make, but it's it's a unique floor plan. It is. Very pretty. Ooh, swivelly. And storage. It's a spot for my bourbon and guns. Liquor and guns. <laughs> well, now that I told them where I'm going to hide it, so now i got to find a new hiding space. Or like the good snacks. The good <laughs> snacks, yeah. If you have a family, and you, I mean, there's no place to hide stuff in the RV. Kids so, find everything. Yeah. Button that up, and don't, don't tell your kids, and that's where you put the double stuff Oreos. Yeah, that's where I'd put them. <laughs> MBR stands for mid bunk room. The mid bunk room could be multi-purpose. It doesn't have to be a bunk room, but, but since Alliance designed this for families, it is designed to sleep a bunch of people, a bunch of kids, the whole family. But if you don't have that and you just want to turn this into an office, that's perfectly fine too. But this couch could easily come out. You could put a desk in here, or you could even sit here and use this as a desk and use this as a guest room if you are a single couple like we are. Well, Alliance did something a little bit different than no one else in the industry is doing. Now, most of these that have the mid-bunk room have the big loft that overlooks the living room. The problem with that is, by night, the little kiddos go to bed, parents are staying up, having a drink, watching a little bit of TV. Well, there's no barrier. The kids just looking through the little rails going, hey, hey, what are you guys doing down there? <laughs> So they close that off to get some more privacy so the kiddos can go to sleep while the parents stay up and do whatever parents do. The bathroom's not as big as most or in most of the paradigms and, and other avenues, but you get that space made up in the rest of the coach. So you lose a little bit in the bathroom, but you get a lot more living space. Not a lot of frills in the in the bedroom. It looks like your standard RV bedroom. But you got your king size bed though, in the slide out, which is nice. The sliding barn doors, which is cool. You get all your storage that you always get with Alliance, all the little nooks and crannies to put all your stuff. Um, it is washer and dryer prepped up here in the in the front closet area. We were just walking through with some of the team on Alliance through this, and we were telling them, you know, in my opinion, I think that. 
I would actually prefer this color scheme in the Paradigm. I would. It's lighter and brighter. I like the very neutral, bright, natural wood. Yeah, because no matter what color you put as your accents, we use red, you know that, <laughs> but whatever color you do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Everything will pop, no and matter even, whether it's yellow, green, blue, purple, it doesn't matter. It all plays well with the color schemes in here. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with this, and that way it, it makes it more, more marketable too when you go to get a new rig and yes. you got to trade it in, mm -hmm. it's neutral. That's right. And it can work for anybody because some of the manufacturers get you into these color schemes that really paint you into a corner. You can only decorate with what they've already put into their fabrics. Yeah, and dark, it's so hard to get away from the dark. Yes, it is. And it can't, Very hard. Hard to brighten it up. Mm -hmm. Now, you can tone down bright, but it's hard to brighten up dark. Exactly. So that's why we like to add this color scheme. You're learning decor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, like I could be it. taught. I'm a little <laughs> turned on right now. <laughs> uh, this door closes, doesn't it? Well, we're not going to talk all about the specs because this is a prototype still. Stuff can change. And stuff is probably going to change. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is not even on the website yet. Nope. But it will be. Soon. So, uh, we'll drop a link in the description down there so you can pop over to alliance.com. And when it does come onto the website, you can check out all the specs and all that stuff and see if it's going to work for you. Yeah. But I think if we were younger and still had a family and wanted to take some kids with us on the road and still have the spot for Scout, because Scout will get the loft. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, Scout is in that loft. Yeah, but it would <laughs> it would work for a family if we were in that situation. Yes. So if you have a family, um, take a look at it. Might be the one for you. Sure. We'll stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We're having an awesome time out here at the RV show. We hope that we'll see you out here. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye.